will not fucking yeah will not fucking exploit you. Let's say right nowadays. Now forty eight years old or something. Mm-hmm. You, you got all of a sudden you got uh, almost a hundred grand. You yeah. Double it. Yeah. You're not gonna fucking. You're not gonna it. fuck it up. So, so I've not been now. I've been saying I've been saying all year. Three hundred thousand dollars. Give each person three hundred thousand dollars. Let's just do a fucking how your age. Double. Yeah, yeah. So, I was just thinking a few minutes ago. Yeah. Why don't this would be even a better stimulus package than the one I said before? Because if it's all about money, think about this. If you got a thousand dollars for every year, you're alive, and you're an American citizen from the day you were born to now. This would be your stimulus package. Two thousand dollars. For every year, and the only, the okay. only, Double. the only stipulation would be that you have to put it in the bank or put it on an American uh, ID card. The that's ID it. Card. Yep. Come you, on. This, this will be your or only stipulation. Card, all these motherfuckers are no, that's what I would, I would do. If you kept it on your American ID card, you pay less taxes on it. If you put it in your regular bank account, you'd be subject to this or that. So that way, those people who don't have a bank account could use their United States of America ID card, so we and they'd have money. their money on it. <laughs> Boom. And then, like you, like we we're saying, if you're underage, if you're underage, yeah. and we're gonna make that age 25. That's the smartest number I could think of because any 21 year old who got forty two thousand dollars is going to fuck it. Off. So when he's 25 years old, that same $42,000 probably be like 45 now, yeah. 46. You know, a couple years with interest. Oh wait a minute, we're gonna have to change the interest in the banks too. You better do something about that. That would change because see, interest is what's fucking people. We want a solid, and this will only change during a war, and it would only go up two percentage points during a war. Once the war is officially over, it drops down. The number could never go up. That would force the government to go said. into fucking different kinds of modes, man. They'd be like, fucking, we can't have this war too long. It's going to cost us too exactly. much. Exactly. So that means they put foot down on the motherfucker's ass when they're supposed to instead of bullshitting and fucking getting people <laughs> killed. Now, right. plug that. if you plan on 100,000 people getting killed, let's not make them our people. Period. If you got 100,000 people, Americans, that you can just call expendable, send your mama, so you send your daddy, send your sons, send your brother, send your sister. Don't send somebody else's fucking kids. If you plan on people dying, how are you going to set up some bullshit and it'd be all about bullshit? Oh, let's get back on track. We're talking yeah, about money. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're talking about money here. Talk about the stimulus package. Man. A real stimulus package. Like I said, we're talking about getting... 2,000 years for every year you're born. And you get it all at one time. When the stimulus package kicks in, you get whatever your age is times two. You know what I mean? You get it $1,000 for each year you've been born. So if you got a three-year-old kid, your three-year-old kid will have $6,000 that you can't touch. You're a 40-year-old. You got $80,000 coming. Keep going. Yep. You're a 50 year old. 50 year old. You have $100,000 coming. We're going to cut this off at 55. Because if you're 65 years old and you get $110,000 and you already got money, that's wrong. Right. Right, it is. You know what I'm saying? If you've already got you, if you already got X you amount don't. of Maybe if you, you don't. But, but if you already got more than what you're going to get, you don't get it. Get it? Nah. And I know you want to get something, and you should get something. You will get tax credits, tax breaks. Social Security, hopefully. Hell yeah. You, goes, you'll, get, you'll, you'll have your Social Security we'll have money boosted. Because of you know, it'll go directly into your Social Security. Yeah. That'll be there until you're gone. But see, people fail to realize, you know, you should prop up the banks, but how many banks have shut small business owners down? How many banks have told people, you know what? They the wanna put a Yeah, they wanna build a strip mall here and you know you know, I know this is your first house. Tell them about all the fucking uh all the fucking empty fucking uh You tell them about all the empty all houses. All the empty suites and the fucking all these hotels strip malls and, and shit. Yeah. All yeah, we, we, we got brand new strip buildings. malls going yeah, on down the new. street. Maybe maybe this is what America's plan was. 
We build all this all shit. All this empty space. And then all of a sudden, no one has money. And then they give certain people money. And when these certain people get money, they come up. But the average American don't. What we get to see is we get to see somebody from another country come here, <laughs> go buckshot, <laughs> open up a business, There's go crazy. Right now. We got these people down the street. Raham Shahid. Working out their houses, yep. getting money. I do the same shit, get shut down. How does this work? Y'all can walk down the street with a cart and sell popsicles to little kids without giving them a fucking receipt. But then all of a sudden, I want to open a popsicle stand. You I got to pay all kind of shit. You need a city permit. Permit, insurance, license. Oh, you're going to be around kids. We're going to do a criminal then, background check on you. a black man or a white man walking down the street with one of those fucking carts? It's on, dude. Oh, well, they got this one white woman. You know, she got. She went and got a tan. Her tan is so dark that she looked like a little Mexican woman now. <laughs> but the only way I can tell she white is because of her fucking blonde hair. And she ain't full of no motherfucking body with them shades. And she's selling popsicles just like the Mexicans oh, do. Man. And I spoke to her. She says... You never had, no one ever asked that question. <laughs> I'm like, you know, how much you guys got to pay? They pay like $140 and they get the little cart full of ice cream and they go make their prices and walk the streets and get paid. Come on, man. What? Either that's, that's some workman's comp fucking shit yeah. or that's some fucking with cooking the book shit because the guy selling ice creams is fucking wrong for that shit. Because if I go to Costco and do it, I'm pretty sure at least five, five or six of these little ice cream vendors is going to come shoot my ass down because I'm going to be walking. They beat. You feel me? Yeah, it's you're making more than them, too. Thank Woo! you. I will go to Costco and clean their ass Fuck out. But um, my stimulus package is this. Yeah. Every American citizen born in the United States of America and, the, and the outlying properties in which we've owned. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll get a stimulus package. 2000 per year of life. That's it. You either take the money and put it in your bank or find a bank or apply for a United States of American Citizen ID card, which will also be your card that holds your funds, your stimulus money. And the average person could take that United States American ID card and go to four different banks and deposit their money in if they wanted to. They could take that one card and go buy a car if they wanted to. As long as they got the money in their United States of American ID account, they should be able to get the benefits of being a United States of American citizen. It's time to get one of those cards. It's time for us to get a card with a chip in it. So they can follow your ass and get paid at the same time. America Stop. Yeah, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, who gives a damn where you at? And I hate that to say. Somebody says, uh, if the police pulled you over and told you to get out the car, would you get out the car? And I said, no. And he says, why? I said, I have the right to refuse these people. You don't trust anybody who walks up to you with a gun, do you? And the guy looks at me and says, I guess not, but if a cop told me to get out the car, if I wasn't doing anything wrong, I'd get out the car. And I said, why? If somebody pulled a gun on you and told you to get out your car in the middle of the rain, and you're on the side of the road, and you got out the car, and they assume you were somebody else and did you in, whose fault was it for getting out the car? When you think you're in a situation and the law's going to shut down on you, you better ask them to get some backup. Because that backup ain't there for them. It's there for you. But get back to the economy. With the real economy plan, we can save America. With whatever plan they got going now, you might as well do what Burt Reynolds said in the movie. Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Because if our grandkids and great-great-grandkids got to pay this shit off, give us the money. So when I die... My great-great-grandkids got some change left over to pay off this debt Barack has given us. Thank you. And if you found any knowledge in this, pass it on. Let me see if I can leave them with a bullshit beat to make them groove for two or three seconds. Oh, no, it ain't coming on. Oh, there you go. Oh, 